Hello everyone, welcome to another Tech Corner video. In this channel you can find tech, gadget and app reviews as well as editing tutorials just like the one that I'm doing today. If you like my content, please consider subscribing as it would really help me a lot. I was watching one of the Justin Brown Primal videos the other day in which he talked about several different topics. What I always found interesting in his videos is that he includes a progress bar at the bottom or at the side of his videos. This allows his viewers to know how much time it will take on each topic. And I found this really helpful. Also, it gives a more professional look. Sure, YouTube has the ability to include timestamps. But visually, using a progress bar is more useful, especially if you are watching the video on full screen. Today, I want to show you how easy you can add this to your video using LumaFusion without the need of any other app or plugin. So, let's jump right into it. Ok, here I have my project in LumaFusion. Let's say that I want to include a progress bar in this section of the project. As you see, this part of the video has different breaks and I want to include all of them in the progress bar. Let's start by adding an overlay title and let's extend it throughout all sections of the project that I want the progress bar to last. I will now double tap on it. Let's remove the text and add the shape. Here, I'll choose either the line 3 pixel shape or the rectangle shape. They will both allow it to achieve the same purpose. I'll change the face color. Blue or yellow work fine most of the time. I set the shape to the bottom of the screen so only a small part of it can be seen and make sure it touches both sides of the screen. I select now the frame and fit menu. I'll go to the start of the overlay and add a keyframe. Then, I move the progress bar all to the left just to the point that I cannot see it anymore in the picture. Then, I go to the end of the overlay and position the progress bar in a way that I can fully see it covering the bottom part of the image. It will automatically add a new keyframe. And it's done. It's time to go back to the project timeline and see the final result. Perfect. A final tip. If I want to, I can save my progress bar so it becomes even easier to use. To do so, just double tap again on the overlay and go back to the text. I'll select this star with a plus inside of it. I'll name it. And it's done. I have a few saved with different colors. Next time that I need to add a progress bar, I just saved a few steps. I'll just need to set the length of the progress bar on my next project. Ok, that's all for today. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.